The death of George Floyd and the protests that have followed have placed nearly every law enforcement agency under more scrutiny than ever. Tonight, CBS 4's Carrie Codd has an update on how police departments in South Florida are now addressing officers' use of potentially excessive force. The fallout from last weekend's chaos in Fort Lauderdale and Miami following protests over the killing of George Floyd by police in Minneapolis continues. In Fort Lauderdale, Mayor Dean Trentalis weighed in on a protester being bloodied. News reports say she was struck by a rubber bullet to the head fired by a Fort Lauderdale police officer. In a statement Thursday, Trentalis called the incident reprehensible and said that when people wish to assemble in peace, they should not fear our police or anyone else. He added the police department's use of force policy states that officers should not target the head when using this type of non-lethal force. The city needs to get to the bottom of what occurred and take whatever disciplinary action is necessary. Trentalis also discussed the actions of officer Stephen Pahorance, who was seen on video shoving a protester on Sunday. Pahorance is suspended. Trentalis called his actions disturbing and extremely offensive, saying officers are trained regularly on what constitutes appropriate use of force and how they should conduct themselves when interacting with the public. As the mayor of Fort Lauderdale, we expect more from you. That's Shane Calvey, president of the Fraternal Order of Police, Lodge 31. He said Trentalis is rushing to judgment. Mayor, your biased public statement based on personal opinions only does nothing but create a bigger division within our community and tarnish the reputation of the entire Fort Lauderdale Police Department. Video from Sunday showed police firing tear gas into the crowd. It also shows demonstrators throwing items at officers. We wanted to speak with the department or police union about use of force policies and protocols, but our requests were denied. <laughs> In Miami, this video on social media shows the rough takedown of a man earlier this week who appeared to say something to officers. Leaders in the county addressed use of force questions on Thursday morning. We investigate all our cases. We have several layers of investigation. I even reorganized the department to ensure that we have a more streamlined process in not only investigating issues, but identifying trends before they become a problem. Back in Fort Lauderdale, the police department is asking for anyone with pictures or video of the protesting between 6 p.m. and 11 p.m. Sunday night to send them to the agency. In a statement, a spokesperson said the Fort Lauderdale Police Department encourages legitimate complaints regarding inadequate police service or misconduct by members of the police department. The agency also said they made repeated attempts to reach out to that injured protester who reportedly was struck by a rubber bullet, but they have not yet been able to contact her. In Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.